Hey guys, it's Sarah Lewis with Mix Fitness. Today we're going to be talking about the triceps. The triceps is this area on the back of your arms that I know a lot of women out there really want to get toned up and less flabby, less shaken around when you wave goodbye. So the first exercise we're going to talk about for toning the triceps is push-ups. And I know you don't want to hear that, but push-ups are a great exercise for your triceps. So I'm going to talk about some common mistakes in form that you make when you're doing push-ups and how to make them a little more effective for strengthening your triceps. Of course, they'll strengthen your chest as well, but they're an excellent exercise for training your triceps. So I'm going to head down to the mat. Now you'll see uh, the, a beginner push-up most often times done like so. In the tabletop position. Okay, so I, what, while I'm doing this, I want you to notice where my hips are positioned. They're pretty bent, they're in a flexed position, and knees are right under the hips. Okay, that's great if you are a true beginner, like just starting out, but if you've been doing push-ups like that for a few weeks now, it's time to start progressing out to a harder option, because that way your triceps are going to get a lot more work as it progresses forward. So the next option is to bring your hips down. So as you set up in this position, you are a straight line from the top of your head, through the upper back, down through the hips, and then into the knees. So notice that we've taken the bend out of the hips and pulled it down. Hands are still right under your shoulders, all right, and you're going to take your chest down to the floor and push up down to the floor and push up. Now, notice that my hands are pretty close to being under my shoulders. They're not super wide. Okay, the wider you go, the wider your hands are in your push-ups, the less triceps have to work. So if you want really toned, nice triceps, you gotta pull your hands in. And I know it's harder that way, but that's why we do push-ups, right? Is to get arms and chest looking really good. All right, so again, Bring your hips down, look forward, hands under your shoulders, down and up. After a while, those will get easy, believe it or not, and you can take that up to your toes. Now notice, my hands didn't change when I changed into the uh, toe position push-up. Down and up. All right, so elbows are tracking out on a 45 degree angle. Now make sure that you, when you do that, your chin is not dropping down towards the ground in any of these. You should be looking out. Okay, so in this position, you're looking forward rather than letting your head drop. Okay, as you get tired, your head tends to drop towards the floor, but don't let that happen. Once that happens, take a little rest break and get back into it with good form. All right, so that's push-ups. Next up, we're going to talk about two exercises where, there's, where there are some common technique mis mistakes. So we'll get going on those. Next up, we're going to talk about skull crushers and technique for doing skull crushers. I'm going to show you how to do them with one dumbbell, um, but you can also do them with two. The advantage of doing skull crushers with two dumbbells is that a lot more stability is re required. So if you have shoulder instability problems, you might want to use the two dumbbells to help start training that. However, if it's really bad and you feel more comfortable um, just doing it with one dumbbell, that's, that's fine too. So you're going to lay on your back, and you're going to hold either end of the dumbbell. Now, when you bring it down, you want to bring it down to about where your hairline is, and then extend back up. So it's coming down and back up. Now, what I tend to see is on the upward part that your wrists flex forward or flex um, sideways. They go out and turn. So I want you to avoid that because what it does is it puts strain on the ligaments and tendons in your wrist and it doesn't add anything to the triceps. So when you come down, extend it straight up, your wrists stay neutral, down and up. Okay, so again avoid that at the end of the motion and lift. Now your elbows should not be more than a foot apart, so just keep them in close to the body, down and up, and those are your skull crushers. Okay, the last exercise we're going to talk about is the tricep push down. So these are very common with the rope um, to do for your triceps. Now you're just going to push straight down 
and come up. The two uh, mistakes I see on technique are very similar to the skull crushers, the first one at least. When you press down, you're also adding in a little wrist action there. And again, it's putting strain on the wrist joints and it doesn't add anything to the work of the triceps. So as you do the push downs, make sure you press straight down, wrist stays flat and neutral, the wrist joint shouldn't move, okay? So down, you can pull the rope apart, just don't add the extra flick of the wrist in there. Okay, the other thing I see when skull crushers, um, or I'm sorry, when the rope push downs are being performed is the elbows slide away from the rib cage. So as you lower, or as you raise up, your elbows slide away from the rib cage. Okay, and now the elbow doesn't have to bend nearly as much and so the triceps don't have to work very much at all. So to really get those triceps, you want to keep your elbows cemented to your rib cage and stop here rather than letting them slide out away from the body. Okay, so this one incorrect. This one, pushing straight down. You'll feel the difference when you've got it right. Elbows hugged into the body. And release. So those are your proper push downs. So I hope you got some good tips to take away to tone your triceps. Um, and we will see you next time. Have a great day.